ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the analysis of Juleno TV I hope you well from wherever you're watching this channel now away from politics there is something that is taking place or took place at my my view I don't know how many of you have been through that area So according to Kenya Red, Red Cross, ex-handle, several people have been taken to a health facility in Maimayu due to flash floods affecting Kamuchiri village. The flood waters are reported to have originated from a nearby river that broke its banks. So the issue of floods, you know, I don't know, but I believe right now everybody is literally aware about this issue of floods. This problem has rocked the county of Nairobi. You know, when I first saw this issue of floods, you know, floods, first time I saw it in a footage that was shared, a footage from Dubai, whereby in Dubai there was crisis. You know, I could see flash, uh, floods, I could see storm. It was crazy in Dubai's case. So when you look at the Kenya's case, you know, and you compare to Dubai's case, it's as if with the Kenya's case, there is lack of planning. There is no plan that has been put in place to deal with this mayhem. I want to take you to last year. You know, last year, uh, when Rigathi Gachagwa talked about releasing billions to deal with any kind of El Nino-like rain, you know, and then there was issue about counties. Counties told that they had been given billions. I remember a case of Mombasa County, where Mombasa County denied the fact that they had been given billions to deal with any looming calamity in form of uh, floods or in form of uh, El Nino rains. Governor wewe bwana Nasil Governor wa Mombasa Governor wa Tana River pesa muko nayo kwa bank tumepea nyinyi pesa kutoka National Treasury we are not even aware which funds there I'm Digashagwa sasa nadai kuwa serikali kuu haitatoa fedha za kusaidia walioathirika na mvua ya El Nino And then there was a footage that surfaced from Mombasa's case whereby in somewhere there in uh, Kisauni there were a lot of floods there you know this crisis in Maimayu that took place, I think, midnight, saw many houses swept away, you know. And it's alleged that these floods cause, have has already caused 20 deaths and so many people have been injured. And then there's a footage here that I'm seeing whereby there is a huge traffic. You know, if you've ever passed through that road, then you'll agree with me that that is not a place that one can joke joke with. Someone by the name Landlord, this is a Twitter handle by the name, an ex handle by the name Landlord, he said, this is my Mayu, one of the dangerous places in Kenya. Hapa even the sleepy ones always work to support the driver. It's true. You know that place, ukiamka tu, ukiangalia this other side, on the left side, unona kumba kuna mteremko. You know, it's a very deep so that you you ask yourself if at all upper gari kiamua kombe naanguka then we are doomed so that's why most of the time that place people uh, wake up that time it's very few people sleep and the few people wake up they're always their eyes are always on the driver so that the driver does not make a mistake you see the driver can make a little mistake that can cost lives of so many people within that bus so this area, my Maimayu, is not a joke. It's not a place you can joke with. So that's why you find that when these floods came, it was very easy for the floods to sweep those homes because of the hilly nature of that place. So I don't know, but you know, this is going to affect especially those students 
all those pupils who had booked and decided to travel over the night because of the opening of schools. You know, mind you, before the before CS Machogu uh, changed the reopening dates, because what has it that these reopening dates were changed at the middle of the night? And this is not sitting well with so many parents because there are so many people booked. You know, people booked. There are people, there are, there are kids who study maybe in places like Kisumu, Nakuru, Naivasha, all those other places. They had made prior arrangements and booked. So there is also another crisis. Now, if these people are booked, it means these buses, some of these buses are full. Then it means these people will now have to change their booking days or allow their children to go to school, but they secure some you know, external ways, some they secure other ways of accommodating these students or these children for one week. Now, this is going to be expensive for the parents. So assuming <clears throat> there are parents whose kids had chosen to travel at night and then they find themselves in this mayhem in Maimayu. What do you think is going to happen? Of course, there's going to be a huge delay on the road. There's going to be a lot of expenditure on the road just because of this Maimayu uh, flash floods that have caused this huge traffic uh, along that road. So these things, ladies and gentlemen, going by what is being shared and so many people have talking about uh, so many people have been talking about this issue you know of my mayu and, uh, and and unfortunately it has coincided with the the sudden change of the school opening days it means if you are on the road they are thinking that you're going to school then you might be have to, you might have to think of plan b because now machogo has changed the reopening dates you might be forced to you know turn back so this is this is one of the crises that is being witnessed, especially with the people in my mind who at the moment, people are stuck there. You know, I believe you've checked or you've seen those videos I've shared. Those videos tell a lot and they tell a scenario that is taking place in that area. So personally, the government has done injustice to the parents whose kids have had to be stuck along my my road. So, ladies and gentlemen, we make of this turn of events, you know, what's happening on my mind. I don't know how many of you have checked those videos. You should check those videos. It, the, the scenario is not good. So, perhaps if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, please take one second and subscribe. Like this video. So, until you catch up again, stay safe and stay blessed.